Hi, Tom Walls, Carbide Processors. We're going to talk about brazing carbide tips to steel. Something I've been doing for 31 years now. This is carbide. This is steel. The gold in the middle is a braze alloy. A braze alloy is like a solder, but a braze alloy flows at a temperature usually above 800 degrees Fahrenheit, sometimes 880 degrees Fahrenheit. You may see different figures. Anyway, it's a real high temperature version of a solder. It's much, much stronger than a solder. Um, braze alloys are typically about half silver, maybe 49% silver with manganese in it. It's a really carefully crafted material. Uh, they're made so precisely that they're measured in parts per million. It holds the tip on. It's also much softer than the carbide or the steel, so it provides a cushioning effect. You need a really good job of brazing because the heat of melting the braze alloy affects the steel, affects the steel saw tip, and you need to get just the very edge of the steel saw hot enough. If you don't get it hot enough, the braze alloy won't stick. But you don't want to put too much heat into the shoulder because then you get a heat affected zone, it's brittle and it snaps. If you ever have a shoulder snap off, that's why. It's the the brazing got it too hot, embrittled the steel, if it snaps. Uh, if you tear it off, which is extremely difficult, I've seen saw blades that have been stopped by saw stop and that of other things they've just hit them and the steel bends uh, it doesn't snap so that's a little bit about brazing uh, we have brazing's what I've been doing we have hundreds of pages of material on brazing on our website thank you bye